Okay. Uh, cool. Okay. So yeah, you um you you stroll the yeah. the docks. Um, yeah. I mean, you spot the lustful lapwing. Like it's not the most cunningly hidden place. Um, or ship. Sorry. Like it. The name tags on the side. Like that. And this ship. Like once you spot it, it's dilapidated looking. I mean. I don't know how much Zeta knows about the workings of airships, but Skovac definitely does. Um, and yeah, so like the ship is, it's the kind of like the preferred smuggler one of it can run a really light uh, on the crew and has a, uh, yet yeah, has like probably the largest cargo space of any ship around about like that could be successfully manned by like three people without significant issues. I mean, it wants larger crews than that, but it, it can be done if you've got good sailors. Um, yeah, uh, but on this thing, like, all of the flight stuff is shot to hell. Um, it's It uses, like, old balloons and kind of a few propellers and bits of, of fancier stuff on it, but, like, the balloon, like, is, cut, like, obviously in the process of being repaired, like, the inner structure being redone, the, um, most of the, the gearing is, is being repaired as well, like, it's covered in scaffolding. Uh, you could tell this is the kind of damage that takes a lot of doing. Um... So, 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 when I say saddle up, I'm still like two foot too low, but it's like, I think that's probably a ship. Do you think? Yeah? That yeah, like, um, I mean. Like hey? So, give me like, kind of the two of you give me stealth rolls to be. Oh, I like, like stealth rolls. Non obvious in your speculation of this thing. So, um, Jake. If you go into the character sheet, you can just go to your skills tab, and there'll be a little dice button next to the stealth skill. Just click that button for me. Go. I believe you're both very good at this. Yes. Although you rolled badly. Yes, no, no I actually, did. it's rolled badly. No, I rolled Jamie? badly. I'm looking for stealth. Uh, I found it. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, okay, yeah. I am, so... I, am, I am a very small person in a crowded street. I mean, I think yeah, that's basically okay. an advantage, right? Yeah, I mean, like, this isn't anything, like, too fancy. It's just one guy, like, you see there's, like, a couple of, like, big guys who, like, aren't helping with the works on the ship. Like, uh, there's a, few, a crew of guys, like, moving around the ship, re repairing stuff and um, covering over, like, the, the, the dents where, like, cannon fire is going and things like that. And, like, there's these two other guys just kind of leaning against a rail next to it. And one of them just kind of looks at you and says, like, What are you looking at, little man? Move on. Alright, alright, alright. Check up beat up ships. It's interesting. It's okay. interesting to you. Move along. Yeah, go on. Before I come squash you. Just, I just kind of, yeah, scam scam off. Well. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, so you know where it is on the. The yeah, dock in, now. In, uh, can I investigation do I spot sort of numbers of can I, can I basically roll an investigation on probably is what will end up being but I, what I, I was looking for like numbers of people like kind of positions like yeah that. I mean there only seems to be those you don't need to really roll to like count the obvious ones there's like a crew of like um like 8 to 10 people you see kind of like moving in and out of things like um who are repairing the ship uh, it's unclear, like, there seems to be, like, they're all, like, in uniform and stuff like that, or they've all got, like, stuff on them that identifies them as more dock workers, in your rough opinion, not as, like, crew. Those two guys who are hovering evidently are not repairing it. Yeah. They're just there to guard the ship. And they aren't dressed like guards or anything, so you would presume those two? Definitely crew. But they're both, like, human. Um, one of them maybe has some elf way back in his bloodline, but... Yeah, they're those two guys definitely crew. Only two of crew you can see. Cool. Um, I, as, as we go, after we walk past, like I go to say, it's like, but it's what you. Um, uh, how many like elves and stuff around are there? Is this like a mostly human district or like would it stand out? Do we stand out? I mean, as elves being are certainly rarer. I mean, an elf and a gnome together certainly yeah. stand out a bit. Um, but like I mean. Like, gnomes traditionally stand out of touch, but you're a, re a reasonably, like, stealthy dude. You yeah. know how to, like, kind of... You cover over, like, you put a hood up or something, and you pass for a halfling, if you so desire. Um, and halflings are pretty common. 
Yeah. Like it kind of goes humans, halflings, elves in order of like a ubiquity. Um so yeah, you, you, you mostly like go unnoticed. Cool. Uh yeah, no, I was, uh, what was on like the opposite side of the ship? As in, um, like, as like, in, like oh, if, if on one side of the road, if you got like the ship here, road, what's here? Yeah, I mean you've got like a quite a large like um, the, is the dock here? key. Yeah, key. dock key, that kind of stuff. Yeah, like um, lots of like goods being moved around. Uh, people wandering around looking for like ships to get passage on, or people to carry their goods, or like walking to and from their ships, repair crews. Um, you have haven't seen any like dock officials really at all. Yeah. Um, like usually you'll see some guy like wandering along making sure everyone's paying their like their dues on their their cargo and things like that. None of that. Um, but yeah, like it's just it's kind of a large gap and then there's like a row of buildings which is mostly like pubs, warehouses, like bars for sailors, warehouses and places to sleep on mass. Kind of like a good chunk away. Okay. Alright, probably not um, hundred feet. Okay, so. That's good. So, so, do you want to loop around behind the back of these um warehouses and? Uh, go, for, go climb up on top and do a bit of a stakeout. Sounds good to me. Get a scope on what we're dealing with. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, okay. So we do that. Um. Yeah. All right. Um. So. Yeah. Give me both acrobat acrobatics checks to see if you can scale a building. Cool. Uh, without gear. Uh, turn that screen again. Acrobatics. Well, do you know I'm good at that as well? Okay, uh, yeah, so oh, like... That. So Scobat kind of like walks around the back of this building, and then like, Zeta, you're like two steps behind, and you get there, and he's just like halfway up already. Um, and you kind of like... Ugh. And it's been, it's been like, you've been in port a few days, you've been eating and drinking reasonably well on your, on your most recent winnings. You're a little bit sluggish getting up there. And uh, then you're like, you get to where Scoback was, he kind of like crashed the top of the building, like turns to look down at you, and you see him, him kind of like, I don't know, shiver a touch and like duck back, and you hear this voice go, hey, how are you doing? And if you like turn, there's a, like, this sailor kind of like, what? Well, some like shirtless, du shirtless dude, like looking at you like, the hell. Uh, presumably, as you're shirtless, the rain has eased off for about an hour. Um, <laughs> accidental detail, just chucked in there. Uh, and he's kind of looking at you like, the fuck? And uh, on that, we shall cut the other two briefly. Okay, cool. Because I'll probably tell you two to get fucked right there. Um, yeah, so uh, Daruk and Gwen, what's your plan? Right, um, I was going to enjoy myself and finish breakfast. <laughs> so I'm always down for finishing some food. Okay. Delicious, delicious bacon. Yeah. Um, and then we were gonna have a stroll around town. Okay. And yeah, I think thing is general thing is chat to people. Been to Port Crumbling yeah. a while. We'll have a little look around, like see what the place is like in general. See what the I areas the are like. the other place was Port Crumble. No, this is Port Crumble. This is the port. That port place Crumble. was just um, I forget what the name of it was. Shankle, something like that. It's just like a. Okay. Kind of like a town of like basically a whole bunch of it's a market town basically of there were a okay, bunch okay. of other farmers and things. Yeah, like um, we'll go around. I make uh, quite a lot of small talk to quite a lot of merchants just to see, uh, try and get like sort of the general gossip that's going on. Uh, I um, um, are we are we in a market? Uh, yeah, I mean yeah. you can head to a market. There's like yeah, like there's a few of them. Like this town's quite a bit bigger than Shankle was. Like there's a few markets. There's obviously the port is huge. Cool. Um, on the on the way, I um. Oh, actually no. When we're at the market, I buy a few, buy a few ingredients. I sort of, I, I set up a, set up a little store selling my famous pork crumble, crumble. <laughs> pork crumble, crumble. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, sounds, we... I quite like this idea actually. It's a good way to get people in and make small talk. Yeah, exactly. We, selling. We... I like yeah, this exactly. idea. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like the money I'll while I. Your store like, man you, where you, you conjure up like um an unseen servant and just basically have because it's an, just make it into like a table, and just refreshing yep. its spell. Uh, yes. So you could kind of like invisibly cook. So you get uh, like, give me a perform check because obviously okay. you're a tiefling, so you get a lot of like. Oh. <laughs> ah, but don't feel I'm there as well, supporting him. Yeah, but I mean, like you're 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 being his like. If this is a food truck, he's the cook. You're like that guy at the front with the megaphone going roll up, roll up, and all that jazz. It's but not I mean, circus they're mate. still like they turn, they face, they see a tiefling dude like chopping stuff on thin <laughs> air, and they're like, oh whoa. There you go. <laughs> 
Uh, Try some of uh, yeah, Paul no. Crumble's finest crumble. Yeah, so, so the, the, smell, the smell off of this thing is just amazing. You have like people coming through the whole time. Um, yeah, so to gather information, um, I, I think, um, yeah. I'll yeah. discuss this with Gwen beforehand, obviously, but I, I was going to suggest the plan was that, like, while I'm doing the cooking, he can sort of, you know, yeah, collect, no, no. collect money while we're selling it and then right. make small talk with people, yeah. Yeah, Gwen works the crowd. Um, I do the cooking and, you know. Yeah, uh, so, uh, Gwen, give me uh, an investigation check. Um, I guess investigation with charisma, so, or, I'll give it to whichever you're better with, actually. I'm nice like that. Uh, and you can roll at advantage, because... You have a crowd built up. Uh, how do I do investigation with charisma? Uh, I don't think you'll be able to roll it with a macro. Are you proficient in investigation? No. So roll a d20 plus 2. I presume that you're just kind of like chatting to people, trying to get the lay of the land, things like that. Is 2d20 plus 2? No, I don't want that, do I? Uh, yeah, no, you want 2d20, dl1 plus 2. Nineteen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, what what roughly are you trying to find out? Just um, give me a. I want to get. I'm gonna be slightly vague on this to start with. I want to get a sort of like the list of the general gossip that's kind of going around town. Yeah. Kind of who are kind of movers and shakers in this place. Um, and I also want to see if anyone has any knowledge on what happened to the barn. Last night, um, okay. how I don't want to be like, do you know what happened to? Yeah, some you're not interrogating people. people. You're making no, I, like I want like, to. Oh, I just... heard about this like dragon. I'm not even going to like hint up. to it. Yeah, it's more if it comes up, I will press it a bit. Yeah, no, no, but... no you, you rolled nineteen. You can be reasonably subtle. Um, so yeah, like uh, you hear a few things. Like you hear um, one guy talks about how he like there's um. Bit less work going around than usual. Uh, complains a bit about that. Taxes have gone up since um, for the last like couple months. Um, don't know why. Uh, a few other guys talk about um, how there's like this bunch of um, like loud mouths like sitting around in give me just too much a, a pub down on the on the bar on the dock called the the Gull, um, including this big massive half orc guy, like intimidating them out of their usual drinking spot. Uh, they're kind of grumpy about that. You might like shoveling pork crumble into their faces. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, well, I think the chat probably want to ask this, but does the pork crumble crumble contain pork? Uh, I already replied to chat, and unfortunately no, because I couldn't find any pork in the marketplace. Uh, we'll work out how much money you kind of lose and make in a bit. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I assume you want yeah. to make like a cooking roll. Yeah, I mean, the performance is kind of cooking roll. So no, no, performance well. is my cooking. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. we worked that out that as a bard. And I rolled, a, I rolled a 22. Oh, that's pretty sick, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, so, um, yeah, so you, yeah, you hear about this, like, half-orc and his, like, little gang of, like, of set-up shop in a pub called The Girl on the, on the and, like, they're carousing their times away there. Um, and, yeah, on the subject of the last bit, um, you just kind of, you're, like, chatting to some guys, you turn around... And like, um, Derek is like functioning in this world of like cooking and all this jazz. Like he's he's running a food truck solo. It's quite impressive, frankly. Um, so he's not really seeing phases. He's just like hearing orders and pulling them out. And you turn around and you just see this guy, like kind of looking, and he just smells. It. And then you you see him like turning, like kind of the side of his face. He gets really pale, and then turning away from Derek. And then seeing you, and it's the, the cowardly bandit guy from the day before. And he, like, makes eye contact with you and then turns to run away. Um, he's missing out on Great Crumble, mate. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's gonna get, uh, unless you go out over to him, he's just going to, like, bolt. Like, he's kind of, like, slowly backing away until he feels um, in a safe range, and then he's going to... I'll it. walk over to him and offer him some crumble. Uh, he just kind of, like, stops as soon as you're close enough to, like, grab him. It's like, um... <sighs> Come, good sir. Do you want some of Port Crumble's finest crumble? I didn't have nothing to do with it, sir. I didn't have nothing to do with it. Come, come. Today's a new day. <laughs> we have no trouble with you. 
Try some um, trombo, and I'll, have, I'll have I heard them at this point? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'm not being slightly more. Are you being like any more genial than you have been across the course of the day? But, like you no, may. Like, I, I'm in my normal. Kind of, I'm being very friendly okay. to everyone. Okay, yeah. I mean, if you if you take a, uh, I guess if you take a moment to pause between taking orders, you notice and you're like, oh wait, that guy. I mean, Grain seems to have it. So if you want to do anything about it, you can. If not, you don't have to. Um, uh, do I actually hear what they're saying though? Uh, probably you probably can't hear I'm, them. Uh, well, I you can speak hear Gwen. Fairly loud. Yeah, you can probably uh, hear Gwen. Speak Gwen fairly loud, loud to yeah. everyone. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, that guess I I ignore it. Cool. Okay. Yeah. He um he kind of looks like truly. You're not. Yes, I offer him a bowl. He kind of takes the bowl. He looks at it's like, you're not like looking for us because of what happened to your friend. Like you oh. can see like a tremor in his hand. Today is a new day, my friend. Don't I... dwell on the past. <laughs> okay, at that point, I just walk over there with a the chef with with, with <laughs> my knife. Yeah, I like um, if he, he sees it, he like. Physically, like drops the bowl and like he like will move around Gwen. He seems to think he's found a protector. I guess it's like, yeah, um, like yeah. So you've approached with a butcher's knife, and he's like, I didn't have anything to do with it. Um, That's my idea. And yeah, I Come just, I, friend, just... I reach my hand around and clasp him hard next <laughs> to my body. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's like. Not um, quite a headlock, it, but close it's, enough. It's close enough that I almost would class this as a grapple. Yeah, I mean, he's, um, he's not moving away from you. I'm like. not letting him run away. It's like, come, the chef has come to ask how you're enjoying his crumble. Yeah, it's all over like the floor. Like Lenny stroking some rabbits. <laughs> 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 um, right, um... Yeah. So, so yeah, I just... I, I literally just, like, grab him and just go, like... What happened? What do you know? The, the other two, they went to see, they went to see his his brother. Um, second, just give me a moment. Give me a moment to get the plot up. No, no, no. I just remember. I'm trying to see if I did names there. They want, they want to see. They want, they want to see Ed's brother. They told him about what happened, and Ed, Ed was, Ed was mad, and he was, they, they. Heard you were staying at the red. They heard that you lot arrived at the Red Lion, Roaring Lion, and they. I think they they found your friend. The the the, the, the silver one. Just. I didn't have anything to do with it. I didn't want to be part of it, at all. Out of character question. Yeah. Do we know which one Ed was? Or uh, you don't know which one Ed was. I um, but I mean, you can press on it. I mean, the, the the other two went to find Ed's brother. So, I mean. There were uh, four, four people, and apparently Ed wasn't any of the three that survived. Cool. I guess it's the implication. You have enough sense to work that one out. Yeah. Um, I sort of asked, like, who, who's Ed's brother? What's his name? Uh, I don't... I really don't want to get in the middle of... It. Like, he'll, he'll, he'll kill me. Like, I put the knife at his throat. Uh, There's a crowd me... here, like, and just yeah, I mean, just right. like, I was it's a group say, of people going, uh, like, I'm trying your food, but suddenly, like, demon guy is is acting super demony. Um, yeah. So are you just going for straight in, up? In a very sort of loud voice, come dark. <laughs> just because someone hasn't enjoyed your crumble doesn't mean you need to threaten him with a knife. Oh like, my god! I can like grip around him more now. <laughs> okay. At this point, okay. At this point, I just get back to my crumble. I just sort of trust that. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. So Gwen, Gwen, Captain Gwen, knows what he's doing. Yeah, Gwen, give me I go back to cooking, okay. apologize to the crowd, and ask who wants some crumble. <laughs> yeah, I mean the the the, <laughs> the crowd quickly disperses. <laughs> but like, there were two people waiting for other orders, and they're like, they still want their food because they paid for it. Um, like, the rest of the crowd starts to disperse as the rain starts up again. Yeah. Um. This guy's still not left my side. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Roll intimidate check for him, would you? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, where's intimidate? I actually have intimidate. You do. 22. Yeah, okay. He, he like, cracks. He, like, starts crying. Um, he goes... Uh, I'm not going to break him that badly. <laughs> yeah, no. He's He was terrified of you yesterday when he had, like, a good 30 feet of distance between you and your sword. Now he's right next to you and he just got threatened by a demon with a knife. Uh, yeah, he starts crying, um, and he goes, Ed's brother's name 
<laughs> it's, it's, it's Hugh. He drinks at a, a pub called the the Anchor. Like he sobs, starts sobbing. Um, I don't know what to do with it. And then yeah, he's, he's off on one. Um, cool. Does he actually run? No, he, he can't run. Like unless you let go of him, he can't escape. He just breaks down in tears. Okay. I'll take him. A lot of people have died or nearly died in this like seventeen-year-old kid's vicinity, and he's now being threatened by a giant dude in chainmail and a demon. He's he's, well he's, he's on the brink. <laughs> yeah, so I'll take him behind the stall and attempt to calm him down. Yeah, I mean your somewhat. stall is like an invisible. Like... Yeah, I mean there is no behind; it is invisible. Yeah, it's just him. <laughs> Really? Um, <laughs> but then they can't see him behind the invisible wall. Yeah, God. Him behind like the what everything that your your friend is doing. So we'll go with that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll sit him down. I'll calm him down. I'll get him a drink or some more crumble and some attempt more. to give out the crumble. We're a business, yeah. I'll pay for this myself, all right? <laughs> all right. <laughs> then. Split the problem between two of you. Please, the problem will come to me as the captain. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. You, you eventually like. You can calm him down without like. Eventually, he'll stop crying. Um. Like, give me a persuasion check, though. Uh. Yeah. Sure. Because I uh, presume this is you trying to be nice at this point. Um. And so you want to like. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. You eventually calm him down. Um. And he goes like. I'm really sorry about what happened to your friend, sir, um, sir. Can I can I go now? Not yet. I have a few more questions to ask. He like, if the kid could get paler, he would. <laughs> go. Right. Um. How how many? Uh, what do you know of the goal? The pub now. Uh, the goal is a uh, sailor pub. It's mostly. Smugglers and the like. You go that much? Stay clear of that myself. I'm like, <laughs> he kind of looks at himself. He's pretty strong. He's like, kind of got roped into the criminal lifestyle. I have no desire to go back. You see him like do a kind of thousand yard stare straight into the ground for like a second and then snap out of it. Life's been hard on you, huh? Yes, it, it could be. It could be better. Um, he, he like, I mean, I, I don't know much about the girl, sir. I'm sorry. It's, uh, a place I don't often go to. I, I tend to steer clear of the dock side unless there's work there. It's fine. It's fine. You have a good heart, kid. You never know, we might need you on our crew at some point. His Give eyes widen in fear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's enjoying the food, but at the same time, he's like really picking at it. And you can tell each bite he likes, but he doesn't know whether he should take another because demon food. The power of Christ compels him to stop. But he's also loving it, right? Uh, it, but of course, it's good crumble. Yeah, it's 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 the it's the devil's crumble. <laughs> crumble. Tastes tastes like sin. <laughs> sin. Uh, yeah. So um, he kind of like goes, maybe, sir. I mean. What are you gonna do to 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 Ed? Or oh, not Ed? Uh, uh, Ed's Hugh. brother, Hugh. Hugh. We'll simply visit him and give him a friendly chat over what wrong things he has done. He remembers the last friendly chat over wrong things somebody has done, and There's <laughs> again tries to get paler. Glint in Gwen's eyes as the point that justice can be dealt. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Get, he gets um, a justice burner going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, justice. Justice ding in his codpiece. Um, um, yeah, I can't do much more to this kid. Um, okay, yeah. He, 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 he'll... To the ground. Okay, yeah. He, he eventually just, I presume, I'll leave. let him leave. Alright, uh, let's take a quick break uh, for two minutes to give um, everyone a chance to go grab some water and something and chat to go to the toilet or whatever. Uh, cool. So we have a two minute break, we get back to you shortly, and we'll pick up with the uh, sailor ambush on down on the dockside. Sweet. See you in a bit.